So let's break this uh, jig out on the ocean down into, we're going to break it down into really small units, one bar each. And so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six uh, in each bar. And we'll break it down into bars and gradually put it back together. I'll play each bar one at a time, really slowly. And you can see if you can work out the notes and then um, I'll, I'll play it over and over and you can play it with me until you've got the notes of each bar and gradually we'll build up the bars, put them together and then we'll have longer phrases and again I'll play them over and over so that you can play them with me until you're comfortable with them and then we'll start to put those longer phrases together and we'll have the whole of the A part and the whole of the B part. I'll play the whole tune through slowly once so you can hear the whole tune and then we'll start breaking it down really into little bits. So the whole tune goes like this, I'll play it slowly through. So that's the whole tune. It's got two parts, each part repeated once. So now let's start breaking it down. So the first little bit, we're going to start on the open D string. So starting on the D. That's our first bar. So open D up to the first finger B on the A string. And the rhythm is this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first note, two beats, one, two, three, four, five, six. Try playing it along with me if you can, try and work out the notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll keep playing, keep trying to play along. If you've already got it, keep practicing. One more time. Great. If you've already got that, we'll move on to the next bar. If not, you can just pause that, keep going back, keep playing that over until you've got those notes. Remember that rhythm one, two for the first beat, first note. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. So the next bar goes like this. Starting on the first finger B again. So notice again in the middle there, there's a note which is two beats long. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So the four and the five, both on the open A. Four, five, six. Just quickly show you that up close. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. So 
So coming back to that B for the first for the last beat. One more time, I'll play that through, play it with me. Let's do it one more time. Just gonna remind you of the first bar. And then the second bar. The first bar again. And the second bar. Now let's try and put them together. Play them along with me. I'll do this a few times around so you can practice. Great, so we've got the first two bars. If you haven't worked all of those notes out, don't worry, you can always pause, go back and keep working until you've got all the notes. But I'm gonna show you the third bar now. So we're playing those first two bars and then I'll play the third bar on the end. That third bar again. Again, notice how there's similar rhythm here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, holding that note for two beats. Show you the left hand up close. <clears throat> Play that a couple more times and then we'll put that on the end. Just play it with me if you've got it now. And let's see if we can put that on the, on what we've got so far. So remind you of the first couple of bars. And then the third bar. So let's put all of that together. Great. We'll do that one more time together. And keep remembering to count in six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always trying to keep that sense of where those six beats are. So let's add another bar on the end. So again, starting on the first finger on the A string, that B there. And again, a similar rhythm. One, two on the first note. Two, and then another B. Play that a couple more times, just play it along with me until you're certain you've got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Great. So let's see if we can put all the first four bars together. So just to remind you how it starts. Now that you've learned these chunks, see if you can put them together. Trust your fingers that you've, if you have played them through several times, your fingers will remember where to go. So trust that your fingers know what they're doing. See if you can play it along with me. I'll keep it super slow. Fantastic. I'll show you that all up close in case there's any notes that you're missing. One more time. Great, fantastic. So that's the first four bars, and in actual fact, it's more than the first four bars because we're going to get a lot of that next section for free because a lot of this repeats. So you can sort of hear <clears throat> how that last little bit that we've just played might lead us naturally back into the beginning of the tune again. So that last bar that we've just learned. And we're back round to the same bar as the first bar. those three bars for free they they're the same as the first three bars so I'll play you the four bars that we've already learned and into the second half got one bar new to learn at the end of this first section this a part of the tune and the last bar of the a part goes like this I'll show you up close So the whole of the A part then sounds like this. See if you can play it with me. I'll play it through twice. If you if there's any bits that you haven't got yet, you can go back uh, and um, play th play it through again, or go back to the to the relevant bar that that you think you've got a note wrong or anything. Um, obviously, you can always pause and keep going back through. So from the beginning. that last bar there that's different from the first time round. I said I was going to play it through twice didn't I but so let's do it one more time
fantastic. So that's the A part. <clears throat> well done. The B part, as so often with tunes, the second half or the, or the B part, if it's a two part tune, is in the upper octave. It goes, the pitch goes up. So this first half starts around the low D and the low B, around there. And the second half starts on the upper string, on the E string. And it starts like this. The second half starts like this. We've got three open E's in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do it again. Brilliant. So play that along with me a couple of times. And the next bar is very similar. It's just a variation, really. Um, you could, in fact, play that same bar the same way twice, but we're going to play it with a variation. So the second time, rather than playing three E's in a row, like we did in the first bar, we're going to play E up to the G, second finger on the E string, and back to the E. Otherwise, it's the same. So rather than playing We're going to play. Notice you've still got two open E's, one after the other in the middle of that bar. There and there. Play it with me. So I'll show you those first two bars up close, played together. Always counting in six, remember. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Brilliant. So <clears throat> that's the first two bars of the B part. The next bar. So let's look at the first three bars of the B part then. <clears throat> and the next bar, the fourth bar of the B part. So here we've got six notes, six different notes, and they're coming in a descending order. So from the high G. So the first three notes are a bit of a scale. And then. Third finger D, B, and open A. Play it with me. So 
So let's play those first four bars of the B part all the way through. Show you up close. Brilliant. Nearly there. So the next little bit we've got to learn, the rhythm here is again in the six obviously and uh, the rhythm here is two beats for one note then a, then the three is on another note and then two beats for the next note and the six is on another note you'll see what I mean it's clearer when I play it so two beats for the first note then one beat for the third note, for the next note rather, two beats for the next note, and one beat for the last note. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play it along with me. Counting it if you can. One, two, three, four, five, six. You don't have to count it out loud. Obviously, you can count it in your head. You don't even need the numbers as long as you're going boom, 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 boom. Or you can go bacon and sausages. Doesn't matter. The, the numbers aren't important, just the rhythm. So let's put that on the end of what we've got so far in the B part. Play it along with me. One, two, three. Let's do all of that again. Fantastic. <clears throat> Just a little bit more to do. The last couple of bars. <coughs> Excuse me. So following on from where we were. Play that again. with me. So let's tag that onto just the previous bar. So let's play that again. Fantastic. So let's play the whole of the B part up to where we are all together. show you all of that up close so if there are any notes that you're not sure about you can 
work them out from from my from my playing. So from the beginning of the B part. little bit should be familiar from the A part. So this is two bars together. Let's play that one more time just to remind ourselves. that one more time just just to make sure we've got it and let's see if we can tag that onto the end of just the second half of the B part maybe from here and that is the end of the beat part so we've got the whole tune and then now I'll play it through a couple of times slowly like that and you can play along again if there are any notes that you feel like you you're not getting exactly right you can go back to the breakdown of the bars and find which one it was um, if you read music you can have a look at the sheet music to work it out but try and try and work it out by ear first before you look at the music if you if you do read music um, so I'll play through through the whole tune at that speed uh, with repeats so twice through the A part twice through the B part um, and then I'll speed it up slightly and you can play it along with me a little bit faster if you're getting confident of where the notes are 